Well, hello. Uh, I started talking a couple of minutes ago, but uh, didn't see myself in the in the live stream. And I'm uh, going to wait a couple of seconds before it kicks in with the delay here. Hopefully it's on. I think it's coming on now. Yes, we're going again into this one. And let's see if this starts. Still don't see myself going live. Oh, here I am. Okay. Finally see myself. All right. Cool. Uh, well, I'm just typing to uh, my friend Nicodemus here a message because he told me that I'm not in there, but I am now. So good. Cool. I can watch myself. Uh, let me put the phone here on monitoring mode or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got four people I see live, so it's good. We got into the thing, so I'm here now. Um, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. uh hello hello sorry for the late delay but um but the problem was that uh, when i'm going into uh when i'm going into uh the live stream uh i use restream and then i did that in the settings to change the stream to today's event but that's not enough you need to also do it within the studio. So now that I figured that out, I can start with my event. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I want to talk about websites. So whoever entered their website and uh, let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Or you could enter them now as I'm going to be talking. I'm going to do a brief introduction of myself. I mean, I do these regularly. So um, most people already know me and the ones that follow my LinkedIn feed they uh, they know a lot about me uh you can also you know if you're watching this on youtube you can subscribe to my linkedin uh, profile page and uh, or hit connect and uh, and that's it and so uh you know here we are anyway uh so to start finally that i got these glitches out of the way is about me um uh, I basically started getting into the cyber world back in the 80s on the five inch floppies and I started programming in basic, but I'm not gonna give you the whole decades of history, but uh, back in the 90s, we already started um, using emails, most of us. And it was an amazing, uh, <clears throat> it was an amazing tool that nobody learned how to use until I would say just recently, but uh, yeah, it was a whole big 2000, uh, bubble and uh, everybody started doing websites and everybody thought it was the big, biggest next thing and, um, and it is but not everybody was always that good at it so um, you know many of them failed because they did not deliver it but uh, if you look back at the websites from the 90s and 2000s they look way different and uh, I think the um, utilization of the optic cable was one of the biggest things that uh, made a lot more things possible for us so, um, so yeah, so uh, we are, uh, we're where we are. I mean, the, the website's changed, and I'm going to actually show you one website that's still up and running for a business that's, I believe, is from 2003 or something. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a journey. And then I got back into uh, website design with my translation agency, which was in 2005, six, and, uh, and I've had my team together since, and uh, we're working on different websites all throughout, but except uh, with the difference that I've also done other things. My team has been on their own, and uh, yeah, I basically just did my personal projects that uh, I was, uh, I have a betting website and uh, 
We're actually trying now. We have NC Web that we try to do prog solutions. And I may look back at the Wayback Machine and uh, find a screenshot of that website. But um, that was a funny one in 2005 and six. If you look at the designs and what the websites can do now, it's just you know, it just it keeps updating. Just like a laptop, you got to buy that every three years. So um, yeah, you. Same thing with a website, basically. And our website is actually like three years old now that, since we first designed it. So I think this year is up for a re complete redesign, keeping the content, but just redesigning uh, redesigning the the core and the uh, well, the layouts and uh, utilizing the newest technologies and news programming. I mean, back in 2006 or seven, I think it was a year later, but started doing my own CRM and it was amazing to find out that, you know, the functions of something like Ajax, which is something that's, you know, on a website, it's like real live editing forms and, uh, you know, entering data. And that was in 2006. Now it's like, you don't even think about it. And you use videos uh, to send everything through. And um, yeah, having a video on the connections back in 2005 in Europe, it wasn't, it wasn't the best idea to put any video on your website. You could, but a person would spend an afternoon just trying to get get uh, get through to your website. But uh, I did have, so I'm gonna look this up, but I did have somebody tell, give me a website too here. And uh, the website that actually I promised I would start with is, uh, I promise I asked and stuff. And I'm gonna start getting into the websites now. Uh, this is the uh, local brewery in Bloomington, Illinois. That's uh, something that I looked at. And right there you see, well, you don't see it because I just uh, I have to share the screen first. So uh, let's do this again. Uh, do, 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 share screen. Here we go. Mm, we could do... There's a new tab. Here we go. There we go. Share this. And here we go. You see it here. So this is the website that I was going to talk about. And right there, you see that cookies. It's already loaded a second time. This The cookie, the little spinning cookie is there uh, for much longer if you do it, if you're getting in there the first time. And basically, this website is... A well-designed website, however, problem I see is, for example, the video is, it's not a bad idea to put videos like this. I think it's a little distracting maybe, but that's just my opinion. It's it's a matter of preference. Sometimes it works good, and I guess with pubs and stuff, it works well. But the problem is you get a lot of times I've seen websites where the video that's on the intro and so something you got to be careful about is like 57 megabytes. I mean, in today's times, you will get uh, you will get the, um, you know, faster downloads, of course, without a problem. Problem is that uh, you will uh, get bad score from Google because uh, on indexing because simply it's just takes too much time and uh, somebody you know you may think oh i have a fast internet i got high speed and everything not everybody has that not everybody's device is 2024 some people have a five six seven year old phones they're not going to be able to use it because it's not going to download on their website it's not it's not on their device not even because of the internet connection but because of the ram and the processor of the device i mean just look at how fast devices uh, evolve and uh, you know i mean there's always the newest snapdragon new and then i mean who would have thought that you would have uh 64 ram you know 60 64 gigs of ram uh in, in a in a phone i mean when i started programming in the 80s it was there was no ram oh there was only ram actually it was no hard drive but the ram that i had was 128k not not, not gigabytes <laughs> so uh it's just you know it's amazing and and if you use your if you when you're designing keep in mind not everybody's up to date not everybody buys the newest stuff At us tech guys we kind of like to go along and of course the newest thing we get excited and we buy it not everybody does that and i'm going to show you here 
I'm going to share this screen first. Uh, let me switch this here. Uh, I want to uh, share this tab instead. There we go. And this is a little tool I use to, to determine the speed. And we're going to put this here. And it will tell you right away. Uh, it will give you a test. Hang on, running a test. We're almost there. And this is how you test speed. I mean, you could use Google's uh, site speed, which works as well also. But you get the result of your test, but this is more complex. Performance grade, 779, which is a C. Not bad. Low time, 153 is is good. That means, you know, they're using a content delivery network. Page size, 4.2 megabytes. It's a little too big. And you see here, compressed components with GZIP, you know, gets an F because, you know, that's not properly done. Make few HTTP requests. That means it's asking for too many things. Add expired headers. And this is, rest of it is a lot of different statistics, but that's more for the programmers and techies and I don't get into this that much it's their job <laughs> I just for me the point is it's a C beyond that if, if a site has that if, if something we make gets a C I send an email to my programming crew and I'm like I don't want to see and then we get to into a back and forth why it has a C here it's a video so if the customer wants that video on there We'll keep it, but we'll try to compress it. We'll try to uh, put it on a CDN, download it from the global network. A, and there's little things you can do as far as uh, coding and stuff that can help you get that faster onto the website, onto the uh, onto the user, you know, onto the user's uh, visitor's uh, computer. So you know, that's that. But let's get back into uh, let's get back into this. Uh, website. I mean, like, again, I, I talked to these guys, you know, I was there, of course. The fun stuff about working with restaurants is you get to visit them. You get to try their food. You get to try the beer, you know, mix business with pleasure. So we get to talk to the owners, had a great dinner there Saturday, came back to meet the owners on Monday. You know, lunch was awesome. I mean, the amount of food that they were being able to put out of the kitchen in such time was amazing. It was incredible. The owner's there usually for the busy times anyway and oversees everything. His team is great. So if you go into Bloomington, Illinois, I definitely recommend visiting this and especially, which I'm not a fan of personally, but if you like hard seltzers, if you like IPAs, that's definitely a go-to place in Bloomington, Illinois. But anyway, that's that's as far as the business goes. But I'm here to talk about uh, talk about the um, website, food menu. Again, the cookie, spinning cookie. I'm not happy with the cookies. That means it takes the page takes too much time to load on a slower computer, on a slower, on a slower um, um, network. It's gonna get screwed up. You're going to lose your visitor because your visitors are just going to disappear. As far as menu, many restaurants make a mistake of having a PDF or a JPG menu. That's terrible because it hurts your SEO. So simple check again. You do this. It's text. Text is good because you will be found by Google and you will be indexed. If it was just a PDF, it would be indexed, but it would not provide any value because it doesn't have text. So this is a good part of the design. What I don't like here is the fact that you don't you don't know what you're getting. We are <laughs> visual creatures. And as visual creatures, we want to see images and sounds, like the can of seltzer I'm just opening. Mm. No, not a beer, no. It's too early in the morning. It's uh, 8.23 here. So you have the Caesar salad, but no picture. Okay, you have the little green leaf, which means vegetarian friendly. That's great. Personal pizza. You know, again, I want to see what their pizza looks like. And especially in a restaurant like this, which is I've seen the pizzas. Those are the small 
personal, you know, kind of like bar pies, but not really. But it's really good pizza. I've seen it. I didn't taste it. I'm a burger and wings guy. So uh, I, the pizza's on my to eat list there <laughs> still. But uh, but yeah, it's definitely images are missing. Images is what sells, and then images is what attracts people. And again, you don't want to have huge images, but you want to have pictures there for sure. Long list with pictures, it would be much more fun. Uh, nice. Another nice thing here is this uh, accessibility menu. You don't see that much, but it's important. And uh, it gives you a lot of different things for settings for people with various handicaps, disabilities, whatever the political correct way of saying it now is challenges so uh that's as far as that goes i mean yeah you, it's nice to click through this because it's got the uh you know you go down into the on the list i'm not sure if i wouldn't break it down into separate things as well i mean you could have one long list that's one way and then you could just look at you know you could make it into a page or you could organize a little differently especially with pictures it would get a little too long so you would want to have a special thing for lunches and stuff like that and it's also for the seo here you got the tap rooms. Again, the cookie. I mean, I I really don't like when a cookie's spinning on my screen instead of getting to the getting to the uh, to what I came to the website for. So uh, anyway, this is the tap room, which just shows you how much they're cooking. They're cooking a lot. <laughs> they make a lot of it. This is a hazy and hoppy stouts and barley wines. Barley wine was interesting. Tried all three of them. I mean, only I think like the vanilla one, but the thing is, is it's twelve percent alcohol. So if you're just having one good, if you have five to ten, you're not gonna do good with twelve percent uh, beer. Uh, fruit beers, again, personally not a fan. If you are, hey, it's a great thing to try out here. Like I said, they got a big, big selection. So here on the bottom, the footer, that's pretty well made. That's the way it should be. You need to have uh, you need to have this. Uh, you know, you need to have a, sort of a site map uh, for users, and uh, of course, ID. You always want to know who's there, who who you talking to, dealing with. So an address is always a must with a contact information, and they have the contact information properly up top. Uh, for example, something like the real estate industry actually mandates you that if you're going to do a personal website and if you're a li licensed real estate agent like I was uh, in the early 2000s in Pennsylvania, uh, yeah, this is something you need. And uh, then, uh, you know, you get your uh, Facebook link, which is good. There's no problem with that. Uh, click on that. I'm not sure. You don't go into a new tab. You stay in this tab kind of loses visitors you always want to, you always want to be opening up in new tabs just so for the to, for the because you're sending people away anytime you get an away link or outbound link you're sending people away and again that's time on site counts and if they leave your site they're not on site you lose an seo score uh metric anyway and it's here but uh one thing i want about the facebook you go to Facebook, and that's something that goes into branding. It's something we're going to get into more next week is, uh, you know, you look at this Facebook, you're coming from the page. You have the ID here, but, you know, the logo is different. And then, uh, you know, it's just kind of, it's not nice and proper. Like this header design here is, how does that relate to this, you know? Is this should be without, of course, the menu, but e either you put something here that you put on Facebook or you, you know, or you, um, or vice versa, you put, you know, this on Facebook. So either way, this should be, this should be done this way. And it's similar to, uh, similar with Instagram. Uh, again, you get sent to Instagram within page, not a, not an outbound, you know, not, not, not a new open new window thing. And again, the, the, the Instagram overall, I don't want to, get into too much details, but here's, for example, the picture of the pizza. So in order for you to see what the pizza looks like, you have to go to Instagram. Not a good idea for the website. And here, this is what I'm going to get into later. Uh, and the next steps also is here is Toast Tab, 
which again you have uh, you want to order from Little Beaver Brewery, and the link on the on their social uh, media sends you to somebody else's website. That's like a big no no. Don't don't send people other website. Keep your customers. That's the whole point. Keep your customers. If not only for the SEO, then also for the fact that you can work with them if you if they stay on your site and if you keep them, keep their names and stuff, send them to Toastab, they'll bombard them with other offers because you're giving them free customers. That's basically what it comes down to. So we go back to the website and this is upcoming events. And that's another bad one because upcoming events should have a special section. Again, you send people to Facebook on upcoming events. Your SEO score goes down. Google will not like your page as much. Uh, so, uh, but here it opened up in in a new tab. I'm not sure if it showed up like that or not. Oh no, it did not in this case. So I would have to switch this. So yeah, you go into this different thing. But anyway, it's it's the same Facebook we saw before, although it's a little different because it goes right into the events. Okay. But still, it's make your events here. Don't send people outside. Uh, oh, did I lose the sharing now? Yes, I went back here. Okay, I, hello again. Uh, let me get into this, back into the sharing. because, um, And here we are. Uh, stop sharing. So, event spaces, cookie. Gaming room, cookie, a little longer cookie because it's got a little bit more pictures in there. But this is exactly what the menu should look like, something like that. Lunch menu and have people click through again the other page or something like that. But that's that's the game room. I'm opposed to one-eyed bandits and slot machines. But anyway, again, personal thing. If anything, bet on sports. Don't these things just take your money. But that's a side note for me, and I see this all over Illinois, and uh, I'm like, you know, well, I'm not a fan. Gift cards are great, great idea, but again, you go to Toastab and contact people with a cookie because it's a long, yeah, it's a long form, had to load up like that. So uh, finance, drive, event spaces, general contact. This is pretty nice. You know, all the information you could just click and send an email, call, but uh, you know, and there's different things. So yeah, this is very nicely ordered, um, designed, and then there's the order takeout, which I love the fact that it's right here because it's at the top. That's the first thing you see on the side because first you want to see home, of course. So it could be anywhere. It could be a special button, but it is highlighted, so it's nicely separated out. It's one of the Important things, but the fact the again the fact that it sends you to is a no no because why do you want to get rid of your customers? Why are you chasing them away? <laughs> is a pickup, and I know I understand. Toastap has it nicely. They got that design here to make it coherent, not on the web, not on Facebook, but here. So that's nice. And here exactly is the, the Toastap has the menu properly set up. So you know. You got the pictures. You see what you're going to get. Pickle chips, cauliflower bites, you know, cheese curds, mac and cheese. I hope I'm making you hungry yet, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this, is the, uh, this is the website. And uh, that's generally it. I mean, the, the number one thing I always check for, but this is like today, it's almost you assume it. But you uh, shrink this, take it, take this tab out. Not sure how it's gonna go in there, but if I make it smaller, will it make smaller on the in the videos as well? Let's see. I'm not sure. Uh, it's got a little delay, so only have to contact over there on the phone. Monitoring, but uh, but yeah, you know, it's uh, responsive design, which is important. Believe it or not, and I will, so I said again, I will show you that one. It's, there's still unresponsive websites that are out there which is a little crazy to me but uh but yeah so this is uh this is the website that we uh that i want to talk about today and uh you know that's my take on it 
It's nice, fast. It's got a lot of good designs in it. It's got a lot of points. So it's not a bad design by any means. The thing is about this design. Oh, no, it wasn't there because I didn't even have to share it. Uh, okay, well, that's why I didn't do that. Uh, view tab and restream. Share this tab instead. Here's the. And again, I'll have to go through this again, hopefully, because I was like, oh, it opened up in a new tab, which I wasn't expecting because before it was opening up in the old tab. But this one, again, you're sending it people. You, in this case, it was actually correct because, you know, your website stayed open, but you're sending them away. So kind of counts as time on site while they're ordering elsewhere. But, not, you know, it's not that uh, it's not not that uh, crazy. But, yeah, now I see that in the tracking that it actually goes through these things here. And this is what I was showing you before. That's nicely made. Chorizo dip, street street corn dip, house salad, cop salad. And you see what you're going to get. And these are actual pictures. It's not something that was just pulled down from uh, some kind of a database like... Uh, uh stock footage you know so so yeah so this is this is well done and uh but again it's toast tab it's not little it's not little beaver brewery because it's a mistake when you're designing websites anyway so back to me again no not really but uh i had somebody here that wanted me to look at some website and uh, i just have to get to the event and then we'll then I'll get to this one. Let's see. Let's, I guess easiest to go to my profile where I have this running. Six, nine, ten people. But let's look at a real website. A uh, real website. <laughs> a website that somebody asked about, but I can't see this now. Uh, let's see. Let me find this. This, this, this. Just pull this up. Here we go. Roadmaster INTL. Okay, that's from Kaleem Akter. I can't see this in my browser for some reason. I have that connected properly for some reason. I have no clue. The comments work. That's why I've been running on the side. So if you enter a comment, Look at a website. I have to shut myself off, but it's Roadmaster Intel INTL. Uh, let me open this up again, and here we go. Uh, I did a new tab. Share that one, and let's take it from the top. Um, so here we go, Roadmaster INTL. And here we go. Okay, I could see the number one problem, I think, already, unless it's just the way that my computer reacted. But either way, I mean, I, I'm not using Brave. I'm not using Google Chrome. That's one thing is, is you always have to customize the website for every browser and you just got to kind of see which browser is the most used. And, of course, Google Chrome would be the number one by far. So that's the one you have to worry about the most. The other ones, eh, you want to be nice and you want to catch some things. That's great, but uh, oh, here I put. I go back into uh, the testing of the speed. There we go. A little busy. I entered the site. Let's see what it tells us. I would say it's going to get a B at best, maybe C for low time, because it took a while. Yep, there you go. Got to see low time. Well, still flip it up. Five, six, six fifty, seven, seven fifty, eight, eight fifty. Ten seconds. Wow. Ten seconds to load. <sighs> uh, 
if you look it up, I think it's Google, Think with Google or something, a website that states the statistics. And I've mentioned that statistics a couple of statistic a couple of times. You have two seconds to attract attention. After two seconds, I believe it's 65% of users will just click away. This is 10 seconds. With every second, it goes up by another 5% or something. So uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> Unless you really want to stay on that side, people that just browse and look for things and ideas, like even if your page would show up first on Google, uh, they would really have to be interested. They would have to really hit their thing because they would just go to number two, which, you know, is normal. So anyway, so this is speed is a problem. Load speed. Got to work on that here. Uh, go back to this tab here. Uh these things, it's nice that it doesn't write, but it's like an overlay thing. So you just get click high because it gets in the way, but you go mouse over and it comes up. It's nice. I'm not, a, again, not a big fan. Uh, we have one on the site too, but it doesn't pop up. It's kind of like it just stays there, but it's much faster. This one is not responding that well. And it's one of those things that, that slows your website down, but definitely there's, oh, okay. It's very big, and that's why they have the collapsing loading now, which should be on there because that way you only load up this part, and that will give you a better score. And then as you go down, the rest will load and kind of come together into that. And I think probably a lot of these images need to be compressed or put on a CDN, which, you know, these guys are not using maybe. I don't know. My account is great. Shop. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting the ringing, but uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely the number one problem would be this. You know, the rest of the design, it's uh, the ideas are nice. The layout is good. Let's do, yeah, exactly. Yeah, coveralls, uh, something about the little beaver side. I would add more text. That's one thing they don't have, but just because they're not paying that much attention to it and uh, just put something up to get started when I talk to them and they were like, yeah, eventually we'll, we'll get to, uh, we'll get to fix that and stuff. And so we'll work with them. We're talking when they're going to be ready. We'll, we'll work with them, uh, help them out, give them advice, whatever they're going to need. Uh, we work with people on a consulting basis. We can do all the work. It's up to everybody what they want to get done. Uh, yeah, this coverall, again, it's a matter of how much, yeah, and you could test individual sites. Again, I think it, in this case, it will just, uh, it will not, because here you don't have to put just home page, you could put any page, and it will give you a test. Pages, all the entire website is, uh, is um, here, we just test that one page. The, the uh, Google and everybody, when they index your website, they do it site by, uh, page by page. And again, it's C. The download time of that is pretty long. Not as long as the home page because it's probably not as big. I didn't look at the whole thing, but uh, let's let's get to this one. Back to share this tab. And uh, it's probably less things. The uh, The footer... It's fine. Subscribe is good. Contact at store.com. Eh, email. I don't know. Not a big fan of that either. Oh, bu -bu 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 -bu. oh it's got page two. That's why it's paginated. So it's nice. There's only one item on the page. I'm not sure if like this thing on the left should be. You know, this is this is this part is good with the different many different um uh, social icons. Um, I guess coverall. Go to overall. I would use maybe I would just use this space a little better. Uh, I think the quality of the images may not be the best in this part too. But uh, there's the small little menu, which is nice. You know, the kind of a Again, you're guiding the people 
where they want to go. And it's not, you don't have to go back the home page to start through the catalogs. I hate those things. So this is, this is always nice when you have the categories layout like this, uh, another category. Good. This, this is something I, this is the one thing. Okay. So that's like a, that's like a left, uh, left panel, uh, embedded thing. They're a good idea. It's a little outdated, but, uh, Again, it's the applet that's here is uh, for Facebook. It's sort of an older strategy, I think. I don't think people, I don't see that anymore too much on the websites. We don't, we don't use that um, because it, the applet slows down the load speed. That's one thing that they do. It's, it's a big thing for that. Work with trousers. Again, I click it and it's taking me some time to get on that. It could be my connection. It could be that the page just doesn't exist. No, nope. here we go. So, no, it's because everything else loads up pretty fast. So it's kind of like something here, but it's uh, 12, 24, and overall on everything. And again, it's, uh, yeah. I would definitely work with the speed on the website. RSS, wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't see that too much anymore, but... Hey, I want to click on that a little while. Booklet. Okay, you go into a PDF. There's nothing wrong with that. Unless you want to give people, uh, you know, be able to download it, that's fine. It's, again, it's not on the homepage. If this was like, for example, on a homepage, uh, yeah, you would get it like, you know, like you could put that as a homepage. Some people have that too. It's That, that speeds up your load times. I don't know how big this file is. I could check, but I'm not going to. And, uh, yeah, you want to open it again here. You want to open that in a new tab. You don't want to open it within the page because you're basically send people to drive.google.com. They're not on your web page anymore. They left as far as metrics is concerned, Google analytics, let's say. So that's that catalog, you know, all products. Again, I click on that. That's yeah, pretty fast response in this case. It's pretty nice. Uh, nurse uniform, doctor coats. Well, so you have some items here. I mean, I always like to put blogs. I always like to talk about, well, you have contact us here. Shop my account. What is missing up here, I think, is instead of having, I guess maybe these, these are the hot, top sellers, so that's fine. But I would also put something like about us. You have news here, of course, all products. About us, brief introduction, what we do. You know, I know it's on the homepage, but uh, again, you want to have another separate page. The more pages, the better. And just kind of find balance between sending people to every sing every time to a single new page or kind of uh, putting more information on one page. So it's always a balancing act. But uh, see, like, for example, where is this on the web page? This is good. Now, if this led to another web page, like there's just a brief little short thing, and then because the company introduction here, who's going to find it? I mean, I didn't even notice it until now, until I was like really going down and looking for something because you have to look for it. So it's this, you know, Roadmaster Tech is a leading manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. This doesn't have to be here because this is work for, workwear uniforms, which is fine. That's good because it. Within the screen, you're going to get to know why you're here. It's workwear uniforms. There's no doubt about that. But you do want to do a little intro here. So this, instead of having all of these, you could put all of those here. Maybe just highlight one or two. But definitely want to have your about section and values and, and you know, what 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 is the company focus? What is the message? You know, that's missing here. here. Here is just, you know, it's an e-store, which is great e-commerce store, you know, you're selling stuff, workwear uniforms, obviously, send us your inquiry. I'm not sure why inquiry would be there, but hey, you know, again, no big issues. It's just a matter of opinion and design, but, but what is an issue is the fact that there's no information here other than just the booklets, and then you have this information that would be great to have devout, it's the specially devoted info or page to is like only on the home page somewhere in the middle that to me is not so great let's put it that way <laughs> uh, 
just a matter again. Uh, this, this I think, is a bigger problem than the fact that send us inquiry, fine, send it here. That's like send us an email, I guess. Uh, kind of sense to contact us. Okay, that's again. Contact us. You, know, you have that already up here, so why put it there? It should have that. That that nice button could be used about workwear uniform. More about us. You know, this is what we're about. Our mission, for example, that would be a great one. Like exactly what was down there. So, uh, is there any other people that wanted me to do websites? I know, I know, Nicodemus wanted me to get to his. Uh, you know, and then, and if you want, drop a line in there uh, in the comments, and I'll look at that. Uh, and then I had somebody else. I'm not sure if Lee wanted me to talk about the web page here today that she sent me yesterday, but I'll talk to her later and then. Uh, I could touch up on it. I could just show something. So, I mean, I'm just looking for web design pages. But to take a break from the pretty well-designed pages, let me show you the uh, probably worst one that I like. One of the probably wins a, would probably not win, but would score pretty high up in the in the worst web of 2024 tournament. I'm not saying it's a, it's a definite winner, but it would be, but it would be uh, a contender. Uh, here, let me copy link address. Let me go into share this tab again, and let's see. My personal winner, not an international tournament, but my personal winner for. The worst web page of 2024 for me. It's not worst, it's just old. And this is a design from exactly early 2000s. Something like that. I don't know. You know it's just the best thing about it is, uh, is this. It's the non-responsiveness, and you don't see half the page. If you look at it on a mobile device, you don't see the page. The ideas are good. The stuff is there that you need to get to. You got a map, just you know, not interactive, not going into Google or nothing like that. I mean, there's everything wrong with this page that you can only think of. Uh, specialist, form-based code. Uh, online ordering is a great one. Online ordering. Uh, all they are doing is forwarding you to or order to us. Online ordering is now available. Although there are some entities, uh, pub, we're not affiliated with them, nor we encourage their use. Mm. As of 11.6, our online ordering service is now available at Muggsy's, uh, Muggsy's pub.com, which we have here. And Find a link on that page, which is this page, and I don't see it. So it's a pub that's functional. It's very well established in Bloomington, and I just think that they feel they don't need one. Talk to the manager, and he said, you know, eh, try to talk about it, but the owner doesn't see it as a priority. So, okay, we'll talk to the owner as well, and we'll we'll see how we can – what we can agree on or not, and, and that's it. That's it. That's how we go. I mean, I have, uh, their burger was good. My son went there, tried it, and after when he was leaving, he also tried the wings. He said, yeah, yeah, good food, nice place, nice manager. <laughs> you know, everybody was good. Food was good, and it's a well-established pub. Do they need digital marketing? Well, you know, I think everybody does, but they, they feel like they don't. So that's... That's, I can't believe it's still running even. I mean, to put it, I'm not even going to put it into a speed score because, I mean, it loads fast, obviously, because there's nothing there. So it's just text. And I may actually give it a, may actually give it a bad score for some cascading things. Well, let's, let's see. Um, just for the, just for fun, we're going to put this into uh into the speed test. Oh, I actually, I'm testing from Europe. I should be testing from North America. 
but the difference is not too big depends on where you want to you know because these testing things have uh testing sites have different servers that they're going to ping your site from to see how fast it loads share this instead uh yeah okay so I'll put that in there i forget always to click on the share the tab anyway so yeah switch that to north america here mugsy's pub still gets a c but yeah as i said it's a small page 381 kilobytes which is nice that's what you want but you want more functions you just don't want you know i mean you could just do a white page and you score 100 and an a on everything but you know the customer's not going to see anything <laughs> so had that conversation with my guys basically does not get any a's except for avoid http Perl or redirect it doesn't like make for http requests you know it's b b b b b but you know use cookie free domains nope compress nope configure entity tags nope expire headers nope so it pretty much knows nothing and uh, yeah there's some detailed stuff on the statistics but yeah that's this is this is not a 2024 web page that should be you know running and stuff could even be a security hazard for uh for the um for the server for the hosting company because <laughs> i'm sure it's got some holes in it anyway let me shut this off shut this off and let me look at the one nicodemus wanted me to take a look at uh, where are you where are you uh, you guys who's on there now oh, i still have you on ping okay i'm gonna say hello to you too hello uh and now i'm gonna find nick's page here and let's look at the next one uh copy let's do new tab let's share that tab new tab share come here and type in paste and go to iconic digital <coughs> let's take a look okay video obviously i closed the ping then then let's get to here yeah we got the nc web dev but uh, yeah, I mean, I already talked about videos. Let's see how, in this case, the video affects. It's a brief one, but let's see how it affects the. Uh, let's see how it affects. Share this tab instead. And this one is hosted, I believe, in Africa. So we could just do that. South America, North America, Europe. Well, let's. Which one would be the closest? Well, let's go into, I don't know where this one's hosted, but let's take it from Germany, Frankfurt, for example. Should not be a huge difference, but it can be. So, but you, you always want to have your website hosted the closest to your target audience. Not that people won't be able to see it from Japan, but if you work in an American market, if you're targeting the or selling an American market, you want to be hosted in america and you want to be pinging from america because the user it improves user experience sometimes in major ways sometimes less it depends but wherever your target audience is that's where you want to be unless you have a big franchise you need to be accessed globally but in that case you do multiple hostings and stuff like that for the same web page and again here's a c load time 1.08 seconds not bad not bad so the problem would be not be load times but yeah exactly compressed components and, and expired headers whatever expired headers but it gets a c and uh yeah just to show the uh, let's see i'm gonna test this from uh, uh north america and hey nc web dot com well, let's see if i wasn't The, the real test and look we got an a see if you look at our site it loads in 255 milliseconds thank you martin for that 
sometimes we get a B, and I'm like, I hate that because I know we, we do this, you know. But yeah, our site gets this is how you this is how you do it. I mean, I, I'm so happy that it worked out. <laughs> Coming from North America, we do these tests a lot, and sometimes there's a B because of the ping and stuff. I'm like, and this one, wow, okay, good. So that's how your website should be loading. And that's why I don't do it because usually I get the B's and C's. Uh, and it's actually it runs on HTTP for some reason. I don't know. Let's do it on S. Shouldn't matter for most things, but. Uh, yeah, we get the same score. But for GT metrics, there was a big difference whether you use that or that. So, uh, but this one I used with HTTPS, so it's fine. So let's get back to Nick's website. So yeah, I would say the video hurts your load time. This is what I was talking about the collapsing. We don't have that on our website, but cascading collapsing or you know recollapsing thing. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't get to share the tab. Here we are. So again, yeah, video. And the collapsing, see how that pops up when you come up. That's what should be speeding up your website. You don't want to be loading that immediately. Some order your products, what you're offering, services. Testimonials are always great. So from the design perspective, it's good. You know, you have here the address, uh, Nairobi, Kenya. It's a nice zip code, 00100. Wow. <laughs> Binary African zip code. Um, yeah, I mean, there is no, uh, there is no uh, links I don't see to, uh, yeah, here they are on the bottom to the social media. Uh, I click on blogs, loads up nicely, web design, that's pretty nice design. And that's exactly what you want because you want to be able, yeah, the thing I don't like here is because you got to think of your, this, this is a pretty important thing here is when you're <clears throat> when you have the pictures and images here on the blog and that's all you're gonna have because uh, if I go into uh, if I want to collapse this into a mobile device I'm gonna show you something uh, this is gonna be a mobile uh, device now I'm gonna shrink it to the minimum and here like how do you get to the website like imagine you, you're pressing this on your mobile phone and so you need uh, you're going to use your thumb and the only space they're going to get into your website is through this little thing it, at least the text should be also if not the whole image sometimes it's better just to have the whole image be a link because this is you're missing out. I mean, the, the people have to chase that. And I know how much I hate, hate having to have to press the exact small little spot. So, you know, that's uh, that's one thing I would recommend is uh, at least make the text also a hyperlink link to open your website. But otherwise, yeah, you know, again, it pops up like this. Pretty good. Pretty good in that respect. Uh, of course... This is the entire blog. Uh, my experience is uh, that a decent blog to to be uh, considered a blog even by Google is about 30 articles. And let's paid advertising search, for example. And you get into a completely different style here, which is not good. <laughs> it's the coherent of the brand again. And this comes into... You know, you get the back home, but it should be within the page. You should not make a whole new design for blog. At least that's what I feel. There should be some kind of a more complex menu and uh, should offer something on the side here, something on the side here. Maybe maybe leave this blank, but maybe just put like, oh, well, you know, offer other articles here, the popular history and stuff like that. So it should have, you know, this is a project that's ongoing. I'm, I'm sure that this, you know, just use a different template for the blog because somebody created that and they gave it to them and that's it so yeah it, this needs to be finished up you don't want to you don't want to have the page header not on this page you want to stay within the framework of home page design as close as possible or at least second page design whatever you want to call it <sighs> take a drink and um, yeah so the only way you can get back to anything on the website is either down here which is you know this little menu and this is not even clickable so 
Yep, this needs to be finished. This needs to be finished. Facebook takes you to Nick Pernor. This takes you to, again, Iconic Nick DM. And LinkedIn takes you. Let's see if it takes link. If LinkedIn takes us to, to uh, no, actually, if you look at the link, it says HTTPS, www, HTTPS. No, I don't think it's going to take us anywhere. I think it's a dead link. Yep, it's a dead link. So negative points there because dead links are a killer. You don't want that. So and it, it does lead into a new tab, but it's a killer. So uh, this is nice. And then I have to click back home to get anywhere. About us. Yep, that's generally fine. Maybe some images here. A little bit more text, probably. Work on that. Contact. Uh, if this is the person that's really answering, use it. If if it's not, just use a company logo or something. But it's, you know, I can see this page being a work in progress, and I can see it getting better here to contact us now. That's fine. You know, I mean, it's, I guess it's, you know, you could use that. But uh, again, it, if the contact is up here, you know, just being redundant, like I said before, so just use it for something else. Use it to take people to, you have about up here and blogs up there too, but you could do like a highlight of a blog. You could do news, you could events, something like that. So that's what, that's something that, uh, that could be worked on. And uh, so does anybody else have any pages that they want me to take a look at? Leave them in the comments. Uh, any other, let's, let me type a comment. Let, any other page you want me to look at? Enter it here now. Uh, post. Am I in there? Yes. So feel free. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. That's why I have the phone here next to me. So uh, that's the on a different device it works better, but um, for some reason on the uh, on the LinkedIn I don't I only get the sound, but I don't get the I don't get into the messages. So. That's that. I could I could go through. I guess. Am I, st am I still on this one? Yeah. Let me let me go. Uh, let me show the outdated NC Web Dev, and that's how it should load. I haven't been on here for a while. I've been neglecting my web page. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, have it here. Then the contact first. We talk about what we do. It's kind of sort of an introduction. This and then we have NC Web Dev sites, and then we have these things that take you into uh, into uh, different sections. And again, you could click on the icon; it takes you there. And you can click on the text that takes you there. It makes the space bigger. And uh, yeah, I don't have the images here and stuff. Could put header image, but I, I, you know, like I said again, this is an outdated page. But if you look at the blog, I did at least. Uh, I don't know why I'm on this one, but uh, yeah, if I go into my blog, it's changed again a little bit, but it's a full, it's a full side screen, and here we have so a webinar series and podcasts, for example, I made, and my son talks about that. And so we, we embed a video here. And, and you get the services. I'm just wondering why that it's, could be. Because it doesn't look exactly the way it should. But hey, who knows? Again, I've been neglecting this for a year now. Because I've been basically focusing on uh, my uh, LinkedIn profile. This is my son's page for video. This one is done about the way I like it to be done. 
shows me properly. You got an intro video, and then there's a whole there's me here. Uh, when I was starting that, like I said, we haven't been updating it because it's basically about uh, for us. It's been about LinkedIn now, and uh, and uh, the YouTube channel. So, what time is it? Nine oh nine. Let's look at one more website. I know somebody sent me a lease in me yesterday, and uh, let me find that. And I'm going to take a look at that sample blogs. I'm not sure how important this page is to Lee. I don't know what it is. Like I said, I'll find out more at twelve thirty. But again, I can just go here and let's. I could. Well, let me finish first, also with the. With the home page because you know it loads fast yet it has a lot of text it's got four different articles here and it's got uh, the latest blog post is how they should be appearing i don't know what happened to the template there maybe some kind of a update that screwed up like i said we didn't check it a long time but this is what you want you want an image that's clickable you want this to be clickable and the text generally we leave unclickable but read more also so that way when i collapse this into a mobile device sorry there's a lot more to click on you could click on the entire image and again it goes into it and uh, this clicks and this clicks yeah this is the last article from july 18 2023 so if you don't look at the web page too much it's going to get outdated it's going to get you know again the styles were going to go thrown off and whatever else so but yeah you have a lot more space to click on whereas if you just only leave this read more and the rest of it is not clickable it's hard for people to navigate you know and then we do have the uh Buttons I don't like too much, but this one is done nicely. It's part of Elementor, which did it nice. Keep in touch, send a message. For some reason it clicks to this, but anyway, it works. And uh, and that's it. That's that's why that's one of the things. Those those are the things I want to show you. Then what you do, what I was talking about, and then the bottom is projects and you know, still this stuff that could, we could add more, but we're talking about that email marketing and blah 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 so those are some of the pointers on the nc web dev and uh eh, during the summertime i think i'll take some time off and i'll play with the website and write a few more articles because i got plenty to repurpose for my linkedin posts and let's get into this aclaroblog.com aclaro.com blog uh blog stay up to date i think with this I hate. It makes sound every time. This is an element I'm like not happy about on the page. Because then and then this thing up top, I'm not sure if you see that, but it starts going, oh, we've got new message, new message. Look at this day up to date on all things locals in translation. That's intrusive and annoying to me. Some people don't mind it. I do. But here the blog again, it's clickable. A little finger there. So that's great. That's what that's what you want to design. The whole thing is clickable, even the the page. So that's a great little design. Uh, sign up. I hate these things. We don't do that we, unless the customer really wants it. I think it's archaic strategy at best. Uh, because all I don't know if you remember back in the day, all the pop up windows that used to pop up on the on the uh, <laughs> on. Uh, uh, on your, uh, you open up one window, it's like, oh, open up another, another, and then you had to close like 50,000 windows of spam. So that's, that's what this reminds me of. Very intrusive, very annoying, and don't like it. Me not like. <laughs> I know it's a subscribe, but it's too salesy. But this is nice. You know, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big company, so they have very good. It's obviously like a big company, it's a global company. Uh, you get your mail, you get your worldwide number stuff. There should, have, there should be an address, but again, you get your about, so you get to find out more about that. Here goes the click again. Hey there, I'm Akbar Bob. You want me to talk to you? Uh, no, I don't, so I'll collapse this. Well, now it tells me, oh, now we can talk. No, we can't. 
uh, our story speaks for itself. This is weird. Not bad, but it's interesting. But to me, it looks weird that the image kind of moves with you. Why? I don't know. But not bad. You know, this is not too terrible. Uh, the blog I like. When I got to the home page, I think there's a lot of nice design elements. I just don't think that it comes together. You know, enterprise translation, localization services for the world's leading brands. Message is clear. That's very good. But these things here, it's not clickable. It's just some pointers. Uh, enterprise solutions, technology, learn, success stories, academy blockings. This is sort of a, I don't feel comfortable with that menu for some reason. And it's like, technically, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it shows you the stuff. It does this. It rolls out. It's a matter of design, but I just don't feel comfortable with it this way. Company. Yeah, definitely this is good. I just want that. You want to introduce the team. I'm not sure if that's the team, but we'll take the word for it. I know this probably is not, but this is. Okay, here we go. Here we have with the team. Read more. You could read the bios. Those are quite nice always. <sighs> I will eventually write some for my website as well. I'm not, again, not a self-promoting fan. I'll write great stuff about all other people. I just, when it comes to writing about me and stuff, you know, it's a little tougher. But, yeah, overall, this is good. And let's see the Aclaro uh, website speed where they can be helped. Let's try this from North America. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. I had to clear my nose. Wake me up. Um, what does a Claro get? Huh? It gets a D. There's a lot of URL redirects. Expired owners use cookie free domains, doesn't have blah, blah, blah. So this is actually, again, it could be a nicely designed website, but it could score very poorly because of poor tech side of things. And that's what happens a lot when you, for example, do in WordPress. I'm not sure if this one runs on WordPress or not. Let's see what the links take you to. If it does, give you. No. No, it is a WordPress site. Yeah, exactly. Because this is a Claro WP content themes, a Claro blah, blah, blah. A Claro this, this assets, fonts, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, this is a WordPress website, it's something that we use. And by talking about that or by looking at that, I'm like, I know exactly what happens. You're trying to do the website to get it to. You're trying to website to get it to to get it to do as much as you can, as much as it can, and you try to put everything on there. And then you use a lot of plugins, and slows down your site incredibly. And so you need to kind of coordinate, really, and take into consideration: Do I need this plugin, or is there like one plugin that will solve more more of my problems? Uh, go back to this site here. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you, here you have a lot of stuff that's going on, you know. And, oh, yeah, this is a pretty cool plug-in. It's kind of like with your phone. You take your phone and you put a lot of, uh, you take a lot of, uh, you know, you, every time everybody says, oh, install my app and use this app, do this. It's great. It's using the apps is great. But do you delete them? You don't. And then, you know, when every time, like, you try to go and update them, it takes a long time. And sometimes in WordPress, one app or one plugin that you install actually disables another plugin or interferes with its something, especially in the design part and the, some forms or whatever else. And, uh, and then you try to, you know, and they'll, they'll tell you, well, you know, you could just minimize this and uh, minify and then compress this. And then this compresses this, but that uncompresses that. And that, you know, it, it's, it gets very complicated. 
And what happens is it slows down your site. Every single plugin slows down your site. That's what it comes down to. And they're not all working together. So you want to stay away from as many plugins as possible. So I think generally, I think we build a website with three plugins, four. There's a lot more, but they come from one company. So they kind of work together because they're not, you know, it's one company. So it's like, although we have, we have, we, I think we install like three plugins, basically three, three products. Some of them have, have multiple plugins, but it's like just three products and it's, uh, it's uh, just easier. I mean, for example, Elementor will uh, sub, sub, sub in for, I don't know, 15, 20 plugins easy. <laughs> and it's all within Elementor. And uh, me, I always struggle with my tech guys because I'm like, Elementor is great because it has a lot of features, but not everything works the way it, they say it does, but it's in constant development. So, and then someone, sometimes my tech guys have to go and finish the programming or enable, disable, add a little snippet of code someplace to, to optimize it. So those are the final details that go from, that take your site from a D to an A. And uh, me as a simple user, not a hardcore programmer, or coder, uh, I'll, I could do some code and stuff, but I'm just, it's just generic stuff. I'm not, I'm not one to go out and tell people that I'm a programmer, but, but I do understand some of this stuff and, and my mind thinks sort of like a programmer. So, uh, so we can have these conversations, but I tell him, I'm like, no, but this sucks. And he's like, well, you know, it's the greatest thing. Cause and I, and I always understand, I says, I know it's got all those great features, but this part they should work on. And then, you know, two, three months later, like, oh, well, there's a new patch and all these things have been fixed and they have added new features and those have problems, just like anything else in the tech world. But so it's a constant struggle and battle. And for me, I would not do it. I would just use less. You know, I did my old Globemer.com website. Don't even, don't even want to get into that, but I did that. Uh, and I still got an A on it, despite, of again, trying to keep with the, keep in line with using as little plugins as possible so um, and that's the that's the important thing and then just keep updating because every patch fixes something that you don't you didn't like previously programmers know it doesn't work it's just they can't get fast enough to it to get it fixed so uh, but they're aware of it especially from client feedback and stuff so uh, so yeah that's what happens when you get into a lot of uh, a lot of different features and this is exactly what's hurting Aclaro for example, is because uh, they're trying to put a lot of stuff on there and then you need to get into uh, you need to get into also the tweaking and fine tuning. Uh, insights for global growth. Yeah, blog down here, which is again great. It's down here. Uh, testimonials. Power your strategic growth. And uh, um to me it seems like a huge uh footer but hey it's all good and well it's uh it works there's nothing seriously wrong with it i mean it doesn't it doesn't even mention here but uh, yeah the 3.3 megabyte you know size is too big and the load time 1.24 is good but there's a lot of other structural issues with it might not work in all the phones properly. There might be, uh, you know, different devices might have different things to say to that. So uh, it's 9.22, 9.22. Here we are. Here we are. We did not get, I did not get, well, we did not get, I did not get any questions. Interesting, today. And uh, uh, if there's still some, we got a couple more minutes left. I'm going to run this until 9.30. So, uh I could just go through my uh, PDF, actually. Let's see what it, yeah, let me go do that. Uh, uh, there it is, I did this, and let me see, I did, one uh, just maybe we'll close down with this is uh, one uh do, 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 branding i think it was 24 that i did this nope when did i do this uh, 
Okay, so I don't see. I want to go through this PDF, but I don't know where it is. So did not prep this because uh, I was going to talk about just websites. I could talk about the website, but I think seven minutes is not enough. I could just basically go through, do a ping test, and whatever else, and then. So, but if there's nothing else that you need, that there's no other website nobody asked about right now, it's, uh, I guess it's time for me to end this a few minutes early. No problem with that. And get back to my other duties. And uh, hopefully you found this insightful. Hopefully, especially those that are going to watch it from the rerun. I hope you find this, some of these tips well. And uh, yes, hello, Essie. Yes, glad you joined us for this and listened to some of it. I know it was a lot of rambling and uh, a lot of uh, stuff thrown out there and uh, uncovered some issues. And uh, hopefully it will all help you get better at website design. So thank you very much for your attention today. And I'm out of your Thursday. Happy end of Thursday. Rest of it, whatever time zone you're in, have a great day, and I'll see you again next week. Next week, I'm going to talk about, well, I'm not going to be alone. Me and Nick are going to talk about personal branding and getting, building a strong personal brand on LinkedIn and uh, branding coherence, something that I was talking about a little today on the Little Beaver example uh, with the uh, different profiles on different social media. So see you next Thursday.